Hello everyone, we are The Paradox, welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to make a shearing shirt, and a circle skirt with the marvelous designer. If you want to learn how to make a formal shirt or a raglan shirt too, we uploaded videos of how to make them on our channel, you can also see them. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to it and hit the notification button, so you do not miss our future videos. Well, let's not waste any more time and go to it. Well, first we go to make the shearing shirt. Make a rectangle the size you see. Create points on it. Make it a little bigger. Copy and paste it for the back piece. Move it to the back of the model. Flip it horizontally. It's time for the sleeves. Create a rectangle as you can see. Create points on it. Make it a little bigger. Paste it for the other sleeve symmetrically. Move the sleeves in the right place. Sew them together. If it was difficult for you to sew the pieces together through the 2D section, you can do it more easily through the 3D section. Create another rectangle as you can see. Create points on it. Make a point in the middle of the back piece. Create other points. Sew it to the front piece. Move it around the model's neck. Also sew it to the back piece. Sew it to the sleeves as well. Simulate.
Create another rectangle. Create a point in the middle of it. Create other points. Now, we delete the middle point. Make another point in the middle of the back piece. Sew them together. Make it a little smaller. Now, it's time to make the cuffs. Create a rectangle as you can see. Move them to the right place. Sew them to the sleeves. Simulate. Create another rectangle the size you see. Create an internal line in the middle of the rectangle. So the internal line to the collar. Using the arrangement point, move it around the model's neck. Simulate. Use pins for the waist so that the shirt is not pulled up.
Make it bigger. Create another rectangle. Paste it symmetrically for the other sleeve. Sew them to the cuffs. Make them bigger. Make the cuffs smaller. Here we make changes to the physics property section for the sleeves. Create another rectangle. Move it to the waist of the model. Sew it to the waist. Simulate. Make changes in the waist as you can see.
copy and paste it. Now, we make them a little bigger. Sew them together. Simulate. Using clone layer. Add another layer to make it look a little thicker. Move them to layer 1 so that there is no problem during simulation. Apply the texture on the shirt. Lower the particle distance to see the work in high quality. This is where the shearing shirt is done and you can apply the details you want to it. You can make it wider or tighter and anything else you want.
Well, it's time to make the circle skirt. Using the ellipse tool and holding the shift, create a circle of the desired size. Using the internal ellipse and holding the shift, create a circle in the middle. Right click on it and click on convert it to whole. Move it to the waist of the model. Make it a little bigger. Sew it. Simulate. Place the preset on the canvas cotton. Make the skirt a little bigger. Tighten the sleeves a little. This is where the work ends. You can make your changes to the skirt and shirt. Do not be afraid to try new changes. Try different fabrics on clothes and see the result. Make the changes you think need to be made. Most of the time, these are new changes that create new experiences for us. But before that, remember to save the work. Because sometimes when the work gets heavy, marvelous crashes, and your work may not be saved. If you are curious about the character where it was made, I made it in DOS Studio, and also it was my first experience with DOS Studio. Thank you guys for watching this video. We hope this video was helpful to you and could have added something to your information. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to it so that you do not miss our future videos. If you like this video, please like it, it will help us a lot. If you have any questions, you can say them in the comments section. So we will see you in future videos.